scalpel. Scalpel. Knife. Knife. PP enlargement prosthetic. PP enlargement prosthetic. Thank you. Oh shit. I think I could off his tip. What do we do? He's going critical. Oh no. We should call the surgeon. I'll save him. I am the surgeon. Quick, give him 300 cc of. Oh my god. Holy shit. Thank you, yeah, dick man, for 20 for the huge donation. Dying right now. Oh my god, there's blood. Oh, you. and I feel like dancing because oh, Testicle Juggler 69 donated 20 dollars. Hey my bowl of cereal, today we rejoice as the human race. Let's celebrate the fact that this surgeon, famous physician known as Dr. Roxy, you could the world. had her license revoked forever. Now you're probably wondering, um, who? But also, uh, why? Because having your surgical license revoked isn't something that happens easily you truly have to screw up as a surgeon to be banned from your profession TikTok. it was because of TikTok. she live streamed plastic surgery on TikTok, gaining a huge following see this is dr roxanne graw a surgeon who has owned a private practice since 2010 but she's better known as dr roxy by her TikTok fanatics and i call them fanatics because if you support her and her content um you might as well be part of a satanic cult. Since she streams her surgeries on TikTok, harming her patients in the process. For TikTok clouds. And yeah, streaming on TikTok is already bad enough in itself because every time I watch one of those live streams after two minutes, I just feel like I drank a stupid potion. Uh, but live streaming your actual plastic surgeries on TikTok and permanently injuring your patients in the process of doing so? As a surgeon? Yeah, that just sounds like a speedrun for earning the Nobel Prize of Evil. And she has been doing this for years, with no punishment. Like imagine a doctor is performing surgery on you, digging deep inside of your body, while talking to a live stream and thanking people for donating? Can I get the breast implant? Alright, thanks. Uh, so we put it right here and then we uh... Oh my god! Thank you for the donation! These nuts man 17! Holy sh- And I... Put the implant in her butt. Yeah, so to no one's surprise, she cared more for having views on TikTok than she cared for her actual patient's well-being. So naturally, she screwed up multiple of her plastic surgeries, resulting in patients having permanent surgical damage done to them. Plastic surgeon refuses to acknowledge or fix the botched surgery she did on you, so you grow the courage to share your story. Which I'll go more into later. These weren't some small errors. These were life-threatening issues and permanent scars. By four weeks, I had a five by five wound. And I want everyone to see what kind of heinous shit she has done to her clients. Some of them filed a lawsuit against her, which sadly wasn't being live streamed on TikTok. Because I would have paid money to see the judge do a silly TikTok dance while revoking her license permanently. God, is it too much to ask to see Dr. Roxy have her license stripped permanently while the judge hits her with the stanky leg. And this wasn't the first time she had issues surrounding her license either. She actually had it suspended already because previous patients filed a lawsuit against her and then she wanted to fight her suspension, which funnily enough resulted in it being permanently revoked. She had been battling to have her medical license reinstated after it was suspended in November 2022, but now it's officially been revoked. Woo! Dr. Roxy will no longer be yeah, allowed to baby. practice medicine in That's the state what I've been waiting for. Let's again. call it Now, the reason for her having her license stripped wasn't just for doing silly dances and streaming her surgeries on TikTok. It was also done because she was, to no one's surprise, terrible at her job of doing surgery on people. And I don't think I have to explain to anyone why it's so important that a surgeon is good at surgery, you know, the task that they've been training and studying for for like a decade, because you know, you're literally risking people's lives. So imagine now, will you? A surgeon who already sucks at her job now spends about 50% of her attention during your surgery doing this for her TikTok audience. This is perfect. 
She likes to film her surgeries and post them on TikTok. Sometimes even Which, if I saw my surgeon doing this on TikTok, I wouldn't just change surgeons. I would change hospitals. Uh, but that's not what happened. Uh, she didn't lose clients. She instead became way more successful. For starters, whenever Dr. Roxy asked me to do that TikTok with her, I was like starstruck. I was so pumped for that. <gasps> I, what? Who cares? Who, who cares that their surgeon is TikTok famous? This is crazy. She is crazy. I can't believe that a mentally sound person would pick a surgeon to perform life lasting $10,000 surgery on you because you're excited to do a TikTok dance with her. And it's not even a good TikTok. Yeah, so this is beyond stupid, but while this girl didn't have any negative effects from her surgery, luckily, uh, at least three of her patients have. And at least two of them have been posting their journey dealing with the damage done to them on TikTok. Try to share this as much as possible, so hopefully more people come forward. Um, because this is, this is not okay. Um, she's basically flipped my life upside down. And every day's a dream when I'm carrying your love with me. I know I try to keep things light and funny on this channel with the quips of a mental five-year-old that come out of my mouth, but I do want to say that this is a serious issue and I am glad the victims have been able to let their voices be heard by the Ohio Medical Board, because this... Yeah, this should never be allowed to happen again. But with the current state of social media fame being many people's top one priority, and uh, surgeons already trying to copy the fame Dr. Roxy was able to obtain on TikTok, I think it's fair to say it'll probably happen again. I just feel so bad. Imagine you have a person so insecure about their body that they decide to remove their ribs. You know, those <laughs> wacky bones protecting your vital organs such as your lungs or your heart. Those ribs? Um, <laughs> let me just do a little dance before I remove them. That'll be $10,000, thank you very much. Now, I was going to make a joke about having my dick removed so I could suck my own ribs, so... What did I just say? I'm, I meant having my ribs removed to suck my own dick. Anyway, I just hate seeing this so much that I don't even want to make a joke about it. Now, sure, you can blame the victims of Dr. Roxy for going to her before doing proper research outside of watching her silly TikTok dance. But she definitely deserves the majority of the blame here. Like, she heavily pressured people on her TikTok to get plastic surgeries by uh, capitalizing on their insecurities. Hi, it's Dr. Roxy. How do you know if you need a breast lift? I, I am going to tell you about a very important test. It's called the pencil test. Ooh. And all you need is a pencil. Thank you. Oh, thank you. This is best done in front of your mirror with absolutely no clothes on. But we don't oh. want to get kicked off of TikTok, so we'll show you in a shirt. Oh. You take your pencil Man, I and put to it right under your breast off fold, my shirt. Of course, with no clothes on. And if you okay, have a nipple, so or your breast is below the fold, you need a lift. As you can see, she does not need a lift. I don't need a lift. But if you take your pencil, yeah. put it underneath your folds, and the breast tissue and nipple are hanging past the pencil, then you need a lift. I, I so, you need a lift. So, now it's time to take your test. Did you pass? Like, what? Notice how she says you need a lift instead of maybe just considering one? Most people don't need a breast lift, with most people it's the result of feeling insecure with what they currently have, and wanting to fix what they feel insecure about. And we all know how outside factors can have a huge influence on your insecurities, especially when it's an 800,000 followed world-renowned surgeon telling you that you need a breast lift if your boobs don't live up to her standards of staying above a pencil. It's so fucking stupid, man. Essentially, what she is saying is, if you have boobs larger than a C cup, you have to give her all your money and then she'll destroy them for you and upload the entire process on her TikTok. 
So if you want to get in the OR and see behind the scenes and how this stuff works, but now just what? Get a breast lift? Pay you ten thousand dollars to get a BBL? Is that what it's gonna take to meet you? The oh so charitable famous Dr. Roxy? And sometimes I did silly or fun videos. Simply to make people smile in this world, which is often negative and difficult now. Yeah. So sweet. And I would get a BBL since you so childishly peer pressured me into it, even though you're a 40 year old surgeon. <laughs> but these hams, they are thick enough as they are. Thank you very much. So for anyone believing Dr. Roxy shouldn't be held accountable for her actions, I think you couldn't be more wrong. Everything she has done for the past few years and the worst of all is that she doesn't show any remorse at all for her actions. Yeah, something funny I've read on this topic, funny in the sense of uh, how does she have the audacity to say something so selfish and out of touch with the entire situation, is that um, instead of apologizing to the victims, uh, she said that stripping her from her license will forever change her life in a negative Aww. way. Aww, I hadn't looked at it that way. Maybe bring that up with the Medical Board of Ohio. I'm sure they'll understand. Order in the court. Uh, so before we decide to take the defense license away forever after destroying the livelihood of three people does the defendant have anything to say in their defense <laughs> yeah so I might have destroyed the lives of a few people but will anyone think about me and uh, how I'll be suffering from this you make a great point I hadn't thought of it like that I I'm so sorry you're free to go <laughs> Really? Fuck no! Take away your license right now! I do hope that people have learned a lesson from this though, that social media isn't an indicator of skill whatsoever. No matter if a person with a high amount of followers tells you that they are good at something, make sure to research properly before making such big decisions so you can feel comfortable after making them. Yeah, this makes me feel comfortable. If I saw my surgeon make TikToks about abusing Anastasia to find out my deepest and darkest secrets, I would instantly sign up for a penis enlargement surgery just to get the Anastasia. Because I don't need a penis enlargement surgery. Oh, I gotta take this. Uh, hi, doctor. Oh, you can add five inches? Yeah, that really helped me out. You're still here, uh... Oh, <laughs> no, doctor, I was kidding. I already have 10 inches. I don't need the surgery. Um, And you, if you enjoyed this video and you want me to cover any other internet drama or news, please let me know in the comments below. Subscribe to my channel and watch some of my other videos to become part of my cereal bowl so I can absorb all of your fibers and nutrients. Doctor... Um, so I actually do need the surgery and I could even move it up by a week. Yeah, my girlfriend really wants this to happen as fast as possible. Oh, 